On a recent expedition, the Shark Research Institute came across this mature male whale shark that had become entangled in a fishing net. It appeared as if the net had been attached for quite some time. The researchers decided that instead of tagging this animal, they would take on the role of rescuers. Using a pair of trauma shears, the net was first cut off from around the shark, revealing that it had begun to restrict the shark's growth. It was only a matter of time before this whale shark would die as a result of the net. You can see from this image here how the net had begun to cut deeply into the pectoral fins of this whale shark. The net was embedded deeply into the flesh of the shark and in the attempts to pull the net off the right pectoral fin the shark began to bleed from the wounds. The decision was made to cut the net off as close as possible to the fin. After an initial defensive rolling which threw the researcher off, the shark became completely placid as if it knew we were trying to help. Working feverishly, the Shark Research Institute crew began cutting the net off. This is a clear example of how human actions impact our environment and how our careless actions can destroy something so beautiful. With his adrenaline flowing and his computer beeping, Rick worked quickly to remove the net from the shark. Rick could now breathe a sigh of relief, comforted by knowing that he probably saved the life of this whale shark. In Utila, the research continues as the Shark Research Institute aids the Honduran government in implementing its protection and management plan for the whale shark. Ecotourism will play a major role in the future of the Bay Islands of Honduras. <laughs>